Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, I'm just going to do the second part of this quilt. Now, I figured out what the word was. It was stabilizer. As you can see, I have a little bit of stabilizer on the back of this. And um, you can see my iron was dirty. And some stabilizers you can, which I'll just put, I love that. I use my iron. It's a mess. I should show you it. Um, and I didn't think about putting a sheet down. Anyway, um, so you can see I have stabilizer around this. Um, no big deal because you can do many things. Um, you can, you know, cut this so it's straight if you're one of those kind of people. Um, I like to do it wavy uh, or I love to take my, uh, like my scissors that have the uh, decorative edges you can use those or, you know, they sell scissors that have those uh, for sewing. Um, and, you know, it helps the fabric not fray. And then you get this really cool decoration around. Um, but I wouldn't do that until I put the backing on. So that's all up to you. So you can see I have my stuff here. And um, come on now, fuzzy. And so what I'm going to do is use these delicious, they are called dimensional fabric paint, uh, fashion fabric paint, and they are from plaid. I have a lot of colors and I'm going to outline and do a lot of, you know, just cute, fun things. So I think for this though, I think I'm going to use a pink. And I have to decide if I'm going to use hot pink neon or raspberry sparkle. Hmm. I think I'll use the raspberry sparkle. And all I'm going to do now, if you don't have fabric paint, which you can get these at your local craft store, you can go to plaidonline.com. They sell uh, these. So, you know, you can find them anywhere. I'm just shaking it and opening it and i'm not going to worry too much i'm just going to try it out and i'm going to do it on here so what i'm going to do is outline it and see how much um dimension you know i want or i get now they also have look they have uh glitter this is ruby glitter which i'm going to use around here um they you know you can use your mod podge and put it around and then put sprinkle glitter on it whatever color you want you can use crayons markers paint, whatever you have uh it doesn't matter just use whatever you want to decorate or don't use anything that's totally up to you and all i'm gonna do i like it kind of wonky because i'm wonky remember it's about having fun when you see that's all we're gonna do um, if you want to color it in a little bit more, you can. You see, it doesn't take much at all. And if you have, you know, you can sprinkle a little glitter on there right now just to give it a little pow, -pow if you want. Um, as far as the leaves go, let's do this first. Let's do this yellow. I don't know which yellow I want to use. This is Citron Sparkle. Oh, so this is glitter. So we'll use that last. This is bright yellow shiny. So I'm going to shake it up real good. Shake it up. Okay. Same thing, except this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and make like a spiral. And you see, I'm adding my own little kind of thing in there. Maybe I want it to go around to the edge, so I'll just make it a little bit wonky. There we go. Okay. And you can see that little bit one on that purple. I can just take my paintbrush if I want or my finger or whatever you use give it a little movement and that is it so you see what I'm saying very simple and let's see let's do purple so I have a couple purples to pick from let's see what we think for this purple I'm, I'm thinking that but this would make you can do black if you want to. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't black be nice? Do I have black here? I don't know. Black, black. No. I thought I pulled black out. Maybe not. Who knows with me? But outlining all these in black would be pretty, too. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to take... Let's see what this is like. Eh, a little too light for me. So I'm not going to hate on it. I'm just going to try a different one. 
shake it up. Let's see, I'll put them by each other so I can see what one I like better. Yeah, this one probably. You could do both. Do you know what I mean? Now this is called Deep Purple Pearl. So it has a little pearl in it. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give it some wiggles. See? Wiggling it, wiggling it, wiggling it, wiggling it. And if you sing sometimes, it makes it a little bit better. I mean, that's if you enjoy that kind of thing. You see, we're just adding some dimension. You can take it all the way on the edge. You can tell like you're doing a zigzag or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's about having fun. Now, maybe I'll come in here and just put some, a little bit of a sparkle through it. Just kind of pull it through. I'm not even, like, trying to get more product out. I'm just kind of pulling it through. You see? Let me see if you can... See how it has that cool sparkle there? Look at that. <laughs> so cool. And then there's our little tulip. Oh, we could, oh gosh, glitter. Maybe I'll do some glitter. We'll see. All right. So let's do this bad boy right here. So I pulled out this, which is Jade Sparkle. But I think I want to outline it with a darker green. But I want that for my leaves. I'm so confused. Maybe I'll do red. Hmm. Maybe I'll do yellow. I like the yellow. Maybe I'll do the yellow. Shake it. I mean, I know it's not yellow. Do you, Kelly? Let's see if I can find a different, maybe a different color. Just something that we could. And of course, it comes in white. Uh, let's see. I don't have much. Maybe we'll do this color. This is Mint Sparkle. Let's just see what this bad boy is going to do. Open it real quick. Give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. And you see I'm using very limited colors. I'm not going, you know, too nuts. Yeah, that's good. And I'm just going to follow this outline. Very sketchy and loosely. No big deal. You want to color them in? You can. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of line my flower like that and do, I'll do a leaf. And I have my leaf there. I'll maybe do a leaf there. Now, of course, you can paint them in or do whatever. I'm just trying to make it just fun and not, you know, not worrying about it too, too much. And what I'm going to do is work on these for just a couple seconds. I'm going to use the bright green and give it a shake. And then I'm going to work on the rose. But I don't know. So you see like that stuff come out and I shook it. I don't like that stuff. Let's see. Come on, shake. Try it again. Still kind of coming out, but I'm going to go with it this time. And you see, just doing that, and maybe I'll do some, like, I'll just kind of paint this in a little bit. Maybe do a little bit here. I'm just using the, the bottle just to paint a little bit. We'll save you some too so you don't waste. I hate wasting. But you can, of course, use your brush. So just a little, a little here and there, and then I'm going to do a little, and I'll color this in a little bit before. Okay. 
just a little leaf. Maybe take it up this way. Just with the illusion of a leaf that it's gone back here. Mm, yeah, that'll be good for now. I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red, and it's just regular red, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to kind of make this a little bit three-dimensional. Maybe I'll just add some lines. Who cares? Oh. Got a little squirt there. You know when you get the squirts. And maybe I'll just color that in. There's no messing up. It's just paint. You just play. As long as you have fun. Then we could put something on top of that when we're done. You know, some glitter or what have you. And then what I'm going to do is, let me just hold this up for you real quick. And you see how that stabilizer, the fusible does, you know, it holds it real good. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around and work on my rose. So I'm going to take pink again. Let's see. Let's do the hot pink neon this time, and I'm going to shake it up real good. And I'm going to go in here and squeeze it fairly. I'm holding it up. So you can see it's kind of, you'll see it in a minute. Kind of gives it a little texture, a little wavy line. And if your lines are showing underneath, just drag and squeeze. Because who doesn't like to be dragged and squeezed? And just add a little bit more. It doesn't bother me too much, but if it bothers you, go for it. There you go. Then you don't have to worry about it. I see that a little bit right there. I know. I'm only doing it because people will comment and, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm going to outline the, that pink, but not yet. Right now, I'm going to take my, it's called Ruby Glitter. I'm going to shake this real good. Okay. And I'm going to go around. Now, it's, you can see it's coming out kind of white because obviously it's going to dry and it's going to be glitter. And I'm not worrying about it too much because I want to color that in, these insides in. Without the fuzzy on there would be nice. Come here, fuzzy. And I know you guys are going to ask what the care is for these, and I will let you know as soon as I get this on. And you can see I'm kind of dragging and squeezing. You can use your paintbrush if you don't want to waste or you feel like you're wasting, but you're not. You just kind of, it's okay if some of it shows through, some of the fabric. And just bring it through. awful time with my RA and all today and you can see it's not these aren't hard to squeeze just having fun you know there's no right or wrong it's about having fun if you're not having fun you're doing it wrong as a uh, I can't remember who says it somebody says that if you know who says that leave it down below Okay. See, very simple. Now, do I have, do I have, that's yellow. That's what I want. I think I'm going to take this 
um, Citron Sparkle, and I think I'm going to put it a little bit in there. Let's see what this is like. Just kind of, just a little bit, because I don't want to necessarily cover up. You can see it's sparkly. I don't want to cover up the pattern underneath, but I want a little bit of that. This flower needs a little something else. So I'm just going to kind of drag it through very loosely and drag the, the tip through so it still shows through, which that's, hey, that's mixed media, right? And that's what this is, a mixed media art quilt because you're mixing all kinds, yarn, paint, uh, paper, fabric, you know what I mean? It's just, you're going all out. Now, I have that, and you see, it's basically kind of, you know, kind of done. Um, I might take, because I didn't do this, and just kind of do squiggles down. You see how you're just kind of playing around? And I'm not going to bother on these, because I like this um, feeling that the yarn gives it, right? Now maybe you want to add, let me turn it this way one more time as I knock everything over because that's just how I do it. Can you see? Now right here, I want to take my pink one more time. And I'm just going to go around here. And I'm lifting it up and just leaving it fall whatever way, thin, thick, it don't matter. It's just kind of like, yeah, like that. Oh, I really like this. It's coming out. Okay, so in this red, I think I'm going to take, where did you go? Where did you go? Um, what color are you? Oh, let's try this. This is sequin black metallic. Yes, please. Okay, I gotta open it, sorry. Some of them I've been using forever and some, okay, so I'm giving it a shake. Shake, 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 shake. And I'm just gonna add dots, like seeds, right? And I'm pulling it up. I don't know if, because underneath is still wet, if this will sink in, we will see. See how we're just adding, you know, you're adding some, it even looks like you could do it like a ladybug. Maybe, maybe you don't like all the red on there and we can do, let me show you how you can fix this. Not fix it, but make it into something else, I should say, because I'm not hating on it, but watch. So we have that, we have the red. Take your red, where'd the red go? Excuse my arm, please. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, Kelly. And... Let's make this, I'm gonna just fill in this here to continue this circle. And this doesn't have a bad odor to it. I know a lot of you always ask about odors of paints and stuff and it doesn't. And then I'm gonna add some more dots. Remember, this is folk art. I am a mixed media folk art artist. Oh, you know what else you could use? If you don't have, you can use uh, seed beads or, oh gosh, what you could do. All right. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not digging this one uh, a lot. Maybe once it's dry, I will, and I might have to do something else to it. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to take this and then I'm going to add, look, now this is like a metallic color, but I got to find my black probably, but I'm just drawing. And then I'm going to put a very thin. Draw with my, ladybug, I swear I had black, regular black, let me double check, oh goodness Kelly, I hear you all, yep, it's called black shiny, which I love anything black and shiny, I love anything shiny, all right, so I'm going to shake it up, okay. And I'm just going to fill this in and you can use your acrylic paint. You know, you can, after this dries, paint, whatever you want. 
And you can do this with acrylic paint as well. Look, and then once it's dry, we'll put eyes on it. Look it. And if you want a little blacker feet or legs, just run it real quick over, very thin. Like you're icing a cake. Look. We got a little ladybug. That's just shiny right there. Um, you know, maybe we want maybe here. Let's do here. We'll just do a few black dots. Something different. Okay, maybe it's bugs. I don't know what it is, but it's something. This I'm not happy with. I should have just left it be. It needs a darker. It needs a darker out, outline. Let's do. I'm gonna do red sparkle. Red sparkle. Let's see if this helps. Maybe when it dries, it'll be a little different. You can see it's coming out a little uh, wavy, which I love. Maybe put some. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that'll be better when it dries. I, just, I think it needed darker. And I know I have white. Did I open white? Yep. Excuse my arm. I'm going to shake it. Let's do boop. Oh, wait. Why isn't it coming out white? Oh, now I made it. Look what I did. Oh, I'm mixing it so it doesn't stay white. Hey, mistakes happen, people. Don't ask what I did. We're giving him a little gray head because he's an odd, he's an odd, um, whatchamacallit, there we go, ladybug, there we go, all right, now I'm going to let this dry, I'm going to put my paints away, and then I'll show you how to do the back, now if you want to throw grass in here, let me just show you. Let me use some of this Kelly Green glitter. I'll use different kinds. We'll just move this up like that. We'll use this. What color are you? Mint, you are green. And you can very, look, abstract, right? Look what we're doing. Because I know people don't like to leave things sometimes. And we're just kind of doing our thing. Don't put it too close to the edges and all in case you have to cut, but you can definitely do this and you can do it with acrylic paint as well. It's not a big deal. And then I'm going to take some of my Kelly green glitter and just kind of squeeze it here and there just so when it dries, it adds a little shine and also something else you can do. Again, just throw it, you know, wherever you want. Something else you could do is put some wildflowers down here. So let me do that for you real quick too. Uh, let me find, okay. So let's do, probably should wait till that dries. Maybe I'll wait till this dries and then I'll show you uh, once I come back and it dries. Um, Cause I don't want to smash it around. So I'll be back. Okay, now it's been sitting. It's been sitting here literally long enough for me to make a meatloaf for Dave and Emily, like, you know, mush all the meat and everything together, a turkey meatloaf. Um, and that's sitting, uh, marinating till I put it in the oven. That took about five minutes, 10 minutes. And then I jumped into the shower and now I'm sitting here. And although, you know, it's not fully dry, you should really leave it sit overnight it is dry enough that i can use it but i want to show you look at that glitter in that flower look at that glitter oh i want to roll around naked in it okay anyway that's that's my my thing but let's go so i have a scruffy brush you can use any dry brush you have you can use the other side of your paintbrush you can use a q-tip you can use um you know, a sponge brush, you can use a, an eraser, the end of an eraser, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to show you two different ways. Now this dried, and let me see if you can see the glitter. I'm a glitter freak, I cannot help it. Look at the glitter. Look at that. 
in the in the grass. Oh yeah. Okay. So I gotta stop because I just love it so much. I am gonna use. We're just gonna do wildflowers. And think about it when you're looking out in the field and you see wildflowers, you don't really specifically see the type of flower it is. You more see the colors, and that's kind of what you're going for here. Um, these are essentially you know these are up closer to you so you're seeing them in your first seeing first them first in your vision hello cal learn some words um right and then these could be the background so it's not that you know big of a deal i like to go like to dark y'all do whatever your little heart desires so i'm going to take i'm going to do it two different ways i'm going to take my um dimensional fabric paint and i'm going to give it this is a bright yellow and I'm gonna give it a shake, a shake, shake, shake. And all I'm gonna do, eh, is open it. And all I'm gonna do is, you'll see down here, I am just, and I'm gonna stay away from the edges the best I can because I know I'm gonna be cutting it and all that. Um, I'm gonna dot it, dot, 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 dot. Just random dots, a lot of them. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. He's ready to go take a nap as well as I. And he's like, okay, mom. I'm a little late today, but I'm waiting for Emily to come home from work because I like to see her before I go lay down for a nap to see how her day went because she's my little girl and I love her and I'm so proud of her and that's a whole other video. Okay. And you see what I'm doing here? I mean, look. And and look, you see how I dragged, I drug it, dragged it, did something to it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does not matter. There is no, this is so fun for kids. And listen. Do it on paper. You don't have to do it on fabric, right? And I have a lot of, like I said, a lot of requests. A lot of you guys are asking for, you know, things on paper as well. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to make it accessible because, uh, you know, for you guys, for kids, for beginners. So there's no, you know, not a lot of strength, uh, strength, stress. Uh, look at, as you can tell, I need a nap. You know, this is just a napkin and I'm going to, you know, sew around it and everything, but I don't have to. I can leave it like this. But you see, I have yellow. Let's go for orange. This is bright orange and these are shiny. I don't care. I love it all. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now, maybe you want to make a, uh, you can make a heart. You can make whatever you want, but maybe you want to go and just like, once you put it down, let's See, I shook it, but it didn't do. I'm just going to drag it, right? So let me move in a little more for you. Let's see how well you can see it. Let me get my autofocus. Uh, okay. And let me down here. Let's do where I can let me do it right here. So I'm just going to squeeze a dot. And then I'm going to take this, not squeeze anymore. I'm just going to drag it through. You can squeeze it a little bit if you want. And then you see how I'm just, it's like little faux petals, right? And do that everywhere. And you can do that with the yellow too. You, this is all about you, whatever you want to do. Oh, my dog is really, he's like, all right. And if you want to put dots as well, why not? Right? Do both and do both color, you know. We're going to use a lot of colors because wildflowers are beautiful. I think I need to get like a little rug in here for my dog because he's old. All of them are old, but he's picky and he doesn't like to lay on the hard floor, which I wouldn't either. Let's face it. Would you? Nah. All right. My house is all about catering to my dogs. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I, you know, done, done lovingly and, and, you know, because I want to, but you know, sometimes I'm like, Ugh. and look, I have like a big yellow one here. I'll just, I can pull this through. There's flowers with different colors. No big deal. And you see, we're just, just adding some color, right? A little bit there. And then you go on to the next color. I mean, very boring to watch, but that's just what I'll do. I'm going to give it a shake. And you can do big circles. We're just adding color just so it just pops. Okay. 
man, I don't eat meatloaf. I am ground beef and ground ground meat. Let's just say any type of meat. They they only like the ground turkey. We don't eat a lot of red meat um, unless I can get me a good ribeye, but that's a whole other thing. Um, but they like the ground turkey meatloaf. I not so much. I don't like ground meat. Nope, nope, nope. Makes me gag. So I won't be eating that. Excuse my arm. Let's get some blue. This is blue pearl. That'd be pretty. Shake it, open it. And again, you see what I'm doing. I'm just dabbing it. A gold dabble, do ya? No rhyme or reason, not looking, just kind of randomly putting it. And that green with the uh, glitter, oh, so nice. Okay. And I can go on and on and on, but and we can do a little white. Let's do a little white, just uh, as a little pop. And I like the white of the fabric because that shows through as well. But that's, you know, it's really up to you. This just gives a little more. And you can pull it up so it gets a little dimensional. And, oh, you could do flowers and put, oh, gosh, rhinestones in the middle. All this stuff. And I want to show you one more thing when I'm done. I want to show you the one thing that dried. How pretty. Okay, and I, I think you get my drift. I mean, that's the simple, and it's just like, well, it's just, it's fun. It's abstract. It's what it is. What it is. But first, before I show you that, look at the tulip. Look how that dried, that glitter paint. Oh, gosh, that's everything. And then look, that's just your wildflowers. It's nothing fancy. You can go in. You can, you know, pull it, make other things. It doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to take my brush. This is, like I said, a scruffy brush, and I always like to squish it around. And you can use regular paint, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to use what color? I'm going to do it over here. And what color? Probably orange looks like it might show up the best. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit here on whatever surface you work on, right? And I'm going to take this and I'm going to get that in there. Now you can do this all over what I just did instead of a little bit more, instead of um, the dots, right? So you would do this, or even better, you could do this with all kinds of different colors underneath, and then put the dots as more of a definition. So I mean, it's really whatever you want. So you just take this, and all you're gonna do is see how you're. So you could see if you did it underneath. And then did on top. So then when I go to sew, I can just define these. Do you know what I mean? So I can go in and separate, put petals. I can even go over it with this. And like right here, put a middle. I can just pull some out. And you see, it just it just gives it more definition. So there's so many different ways that you can. I'm going to do a couple more while I'm here that you can do this and then different colors as well. So, I mean, it's good. I'm happy with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this dry again, and then I'm going to show you how I put the, uh, how I cut around and how I add a back and all that fun stuff. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So you can see it's a little different and let me just show you a few things. So you see on the flower there, the dark purple, I'll show you that in a second. You see our sparkly spider. And we have some nice glitter trim here. And I'll show you, they see that. So what all this is, is I have this, it's a, like ribbon yarn, you know? And all I did was I cut it and I gave it a nice twist because I like to twist things with the texture because this has definite texture to it. And I took my Mod Podge fabric tissue, and you can use whatever glue, you know, that you have, and I just put it around the petal so it makes it look 
a little bit more, you know, it gives it a little bit more variegation and that kind of thing. You don't have to, but that's an idea for you, as well as the uh, glitter uh, glue that we used, the fabric paint. And then <clears throat> right here, there's this great stuff called, I love this stuff, Glitter Spun and Lion Brand makes it. And this is a like an iridescent one. This is like a green. And I took the green and it's a flatter, you know, it's a, it's an embroidery thread, embroidery floss. And I just ran it all the way up and just glued it. I just put glue down my, uh, what's it called? Fabric Mod Podge and, you know, put it up there. My brain's not working correctly today. I'm so sorry. So I did that. I took a little bit of this and any ribbon you have will work this little fun ribbon and I put it there in the middle and you know you can just go crazy and do it in so many different ways you can do it around the leaves in the leaves so many different things and it just it just works really good then I took my craft felt now I used wool felt um, because I can go to my Joann's very cheaply and use a coupon and get, um, you know, wool felt, but I've used acrylic felt, craft felt too, that you can get in the squares. The only thing is if you're using the acrylic felt that you get at your craft store and your piece is bigger, all you have to do is sew them together or glue them together or whatever you want. It's not a big deal just to put a backing or you don't even have to put a backing if, uh, you have like batting or something like that. If you're hanging it, you can just use fabric on the back. So there's so many different ways um, to do it. And uh, what I will probably do is with this is I will take either my sewing machine or by hand. I don't know yet because um, it really just has to finish drying. And I will just run a, um, oh, and all I do, wait, let me go back a second with the craft felt or the wool felt. I just cut it as big. I buy it off the bolt so I can, you know, cut it as big as I want it. And I used my Mod Podge uh, fabric glue and I put it all down on there and I pressed everything down and it's on there and you can see that's it. I mean, it took nothing. So, uh, and I just did that and then I cut the extra things you can see here. I have to trim a little bit more, which doing it on camera while it's wet probably is not the best idea, but it gives it more stability for when you are hanging it. And of course you can put a hook on it. Now you can do whatever you want. There we go. I'm not too worried about the, um, that right this second. I'll deal with that once everything's dry. Cause I hate, you know, I don't want to move it around too much, but I think it's adorable to start out with. There's no, you don't have to have, you know, a lot of supplies at home. You don't have to, you know, go nuts. You can use, I mean, a lot of us crafters, uh, even like at the dollar stores now, the thrift stores, which I love, you can get yarn and all kinds of stuff. We used, uh, our fabric paint, right? Our dimensional fabric paint. And we used that. We used some ribbon. We used paper. We used old fabric. You can do, you know, whatever you could paint fabric. You can go buy your muslin and like I do, and then you can paint it whatever colors you want to use it. So there's like so many different ways to do this. Um, you know, and if you can't, let me just say, if you can't use your, if you don't have a sewing machine, I should say then, and also I wanted to show you, you can buy so many different threads. There's, you know, I have a lot of the different metallics. I have metallic green, but it's in my machine right now. Um, just so many things. So you can take your thread, which I like doing is like if I'm sitting and watching TV, you know, or maybe I'm watching YouTube or whatever, and I need to be busy, my hands busy. I love quilting in general. I love doing traditional quilts and, you know, all, all the fun, all the fun. Let me try to thread this. Now I like to double it and I'm only going to do a little piece right now, like I said, because it's kind of still wet. I'm just putting a little knot and I don't care. See, you can do this before you put the backing on. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to be hanging it. So I really don't care. Um, and it gives me for my hands, 
a little more um, stability to hold on to. And I like to just, you can do like little X's, you can do stars just to make it look, you know, if you want, you don't have to. And this is your quilt knit, essentially. And you can just keep going. And I'll come up over here. You can also draw and then follow it. It doesn't matter. It's hard to sit so far away because I'm blind as a bat. And you can see the needle goes in so easy. And I have it doubled so it shows a little better. And then I'll just keep turning it. I'm still getting used to being up here. And remember, these are folk art quilts. These are not quilts that, you know, I mean, these, nothing has to be perfect or anything like that. I'm going to do a couple more for you. And I know it's a little echoey in here. I, I think I said that earlier. Um, these do tangle sometimes. They just, yeah, you just have to pull it back out and do it. But, uh, you know, I got to get stuff up on the walls. And this is just a sewing needle, not a big deal. And you can see, just going, you know, around and like I said, it's hard for me because I, I have to have my glasses off to see close, but then I can't see far away, so I can't see what's on camera, which, <laughs> uh, old problems. And you just keep going and you just keep going on whatever shape you want. Maybe you don't want a star. Maybe you want something else. It doesn't matter. Do you, boo? But essentially, like I said, you're quilting it like you would with your machine. Not a big deal. And you go on and on and on. And there you go. So I can't see. I will put that right there. Right now. So yeah. So that's it. Nothing. Just to start. You guys always are asking me for beginners, beginners, easy, you know, stuff at home that you don't have to go out and spend, uh, you know, a fortune on napkins. These are napkins and, and scrapbook paper and, you know, what's it called? Uh, yarn that I have at home. Decorative yarn. Ribbon. That's it. Embroidery thread. So much fun. And you can, you know, you can stamp, you can do, oh my gosh, it's just endless what you can do. So I hope that you guys try this. Like I said, let me know. Let me see. Um, I'd love to see what you guys do. You can do this in an art journal page as well. You can do it wherever you want. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.